Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. This is not a usual sort of topic for me to cover, but it's been requested a few times and I figured I should probably do it at some point. So this video is all about the cheat codes in Age of Empires 2. There's quite a variety of them to give yourself some extra resources, special units, and lots of other little weird things that are fun to play around with. Even if you think you've known them for years, there's actually some new ones in the HD expansions that you may not have heard of, and the full list of cheats is in the description. So let's check them out. Before we start, I just want to mention quickly that I didn't discover these for myself, I found them on the Age of Empires wiki. Also just to start at the very beginning, you make the chat come up by hitting enter and then that's where you type these in. Now this one's not really a cheat, but it's worth knowing, and that's how to mute taunt spammers. Now the first cheat we're going to look at is the basic one that everybody wants to know, and it's how to get free resources. In the regular Age of Conquerors game, each of these give you 1,000 of the resource, and in HD they give you 10,000. Capital letters don't matter, but that apostrophe in Cheesesteak Jimmy's does matter. You can use them as many times as you want, and you can even write it in once, highlight it using your mouse, copy it with Ctrl C, and then paste with Ctrl V to speed it up. You'll notice if you put it in and it shows up as text, that means that something went wrong. Okay, so 99% of you probably knew those. The next most important I'd say are Marco Polo, obviously in reference to the Venetian merchant. Marco reveals the map, Polo eliminates the fog of war, and you can turn either of them on or off just by repeating the cheat. There's not too much else to say about that one. The next most important to know I'd say is Aegis. Now this one gives you instant building, resource collection, military unit creation, and researching. The only problem is it affects every player in the same way, so you don't necessarily get an advantage from it. You can also turn this one off by typing it again. Moving on, if one particular AI is annoying you, you might consider using the cheat torpedo followed by the number of the player that's bothering you, and they're automatically defeated and all of their buildings and units destroyed. Luckily, you can't torpedo yourself, so you don't have to worry about any unfortunate typos, though you can do it to your allies. Now if everyone is getting on your nerves and you don't want to type that in 6 or 7 times, you can expedite the process by typing in Black Death, which does the same thing but to every player, including allies, though sometimes in a scenario for example that might not be enough to win, and there might be objectives that you have to finish beyond just killing everyone. In those cases, I, our winner, will do the trick and bypasses all requirements for winning. On the flip side, a fast way to resign is just to type resign. There's even a second option of typing in wimpy 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 with no spaces to destroy all of your stuff if you feel like resigning in a more emphatic way. So those are the direct win and loss cheats, but now let's take a look at some of the more exotic ones. One that's always good for a little fun is Natural Wonders, which switches you to just controlling all of the animals on the map. They're a little bit unwieldy since you can't group them together, but it's fun to try for a bit, and maybe surprisingly you can even use deer to slowly whittle down buildings HP. Speaking of animals, there's another one by typing in woof woof that changes all of the birds into stormy dogs. They otherwise function the exact same, and it's basically a way less cool version of a similar cheat in Age of Empires 1 that turned birds into dragons. Seriously, Ensemble Studios, what the hell? Where are my dragons? Actually, if we're being honest with ourselves, Age of Empires 1 had way better cheats just all around. Let's not give up on Age of Empires 2 cheats just yet though. Moving on to their unit cheats, to smithereens gives you a saboteur, which looks like a petard, but between the fact it moves faster, deals more damage to buildings, deals four times as much damage to units, and has a way bigger blast radius, they end up being a much more satisfying unit to play around with. Probably the weirdest unit you can make with cheats is the VMDL unit by typing in I love the monkey head. VMDL is apparently an inside joke and stands for Villager Male Dave Lewis, and it's a super fast, otherwise useless unit that says some weird things. That's a good idea. I would really like to see that. Now that's a good idea. Well now. Speaking of monkeys, another one that shows up in custom scenarios and is probably my favorite is Furious the Monkey Boy. Now he's more of a military unit with incredible bonus damage against buildings, but with only 9 HP. Despite 99 armor, his 9 HP does mean that 9 hits from anything will make him explode. 
The mother of all cheats though is the car that you get from How Do You Turn This On. It's modeled after the Shelby Cobra, officially the dream car of any serious Age of Empires player. Now those are the cheats in the HD version and the original Age of Conquerors, but we're not done there. The HD expansions brought along a few more cheats worth mentioning. Of course, you always have the regular resource cheats, and they give you 10,000 of a resource in the expansions anyway, but if that's still not enough, they have three more added that give you 100,000 of all resources. Now more resources are cool and all, but there's also two new cheat units. The first is a penguin, which you get by typing in I don't exist. The second is an alpaca by typing in alpaca simulator. His novelty is the fact that he'll actually give you some attitude. Hey, who do you think you are making me move? He does back it up though with some pretty intense stats, taking out a town center single-handedly without having any kind of issue. He also takes out my old favorite Furious in one hit. I think this guy might actually be my new favorite. I like it when you touch me that way. So those are the cheats for Age of Empires 2. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.